Baby fish. Yep. Oh. Okay lang, okay lang. Ito yung tumalon kanina. Holy. Koho, malaki. Yeah. No, malalim dyan na sa ano. Yeah, umakit lang ako. Hindi ko alam, nandito pa rin. <laughs> Ayoko to balon. Naka ano lang siya. Nasa lalim lang siya. Oh, dito na, malapit na. It's a big, big coho. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's wild. Maybe wild. <laughs> oh, it came off now. Oh, nice. That's so good. What's up, guys? So um, earlier I caught my my first one today, and it's a wild coho, and I was uh, using beads under a float, and I'll, I will show you how to tie it and use them for catching these cohos. Um, Chum will bite on this. It's chin up pinks like every every uh, salmon species but unfortunately they close the retention for chump salmon so we cannot retain them um, yeah so I'll show you how to tie um, beads uh, I'll show you what do you need I'm just gonna bring this down and all right so you only need some um, leader line I use this 12 pound leader line and hooks and your beads and your um, pliers to to pinch those uh, barbs on the hooks. Okay. So first you grab your your hook. Yeah. I usually use one one um, size one hooks. Uh, so th as you can see there's a barb on it and that's why we need these pliers to pinch the, the barb All right, after pinching it I'm gonna cut my leader line about two to three feet so I usually like to use egg loop nut and if you're interested maybe i'm gonna do another separate vid video about it let me know in the comment yeah so i'm just gonna tie it real quick here i like to use this one because whenever i want to switch to row i can always um, use it now that now that you have your leader line and your hooks right there you just need your um, bead stopper so it's as you can see I, I use well I use them a lot um, 
Yeah, so I just put this inside there. And I like to move this all the way down to the hook and choose whatever bead that I like to use. Let's try this one, this big, big one. orange one. Soft bead. So this is a soft bead. So you just put it inside and slide it, slide it until here. And then push it and lock them in place. And you, you don't want to fish like this though. You, you need to put gaps, maybe three to four fingers. That's good enough. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, you just need to tie it in your ma uh, main line and you're ready to fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit the subscribe and comment down below if you want to learn more. <laughs> um, I'll try to help. <laughs> Well, if you guys enjoy, yeah, just hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. See you guys again. Fish on on the center pin. Coho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. You're lakad mo lang. Pag ganyan, i-ano mo yung rod mo. Parang, wag mong masyadong i-reel. Wag mong dikit yung ano. Dikit yung floater mo sa rad mo. Sige, maganda yata yung set. Sige, lakad ka lang. Ilakad mo lang. Lakad, lakad mo lang. Lakad, lakad mo lang. Sige, lakad mo na lang. Hatchery baby Para kang nag-walk ng dog Yup Nice Hatchery Nice Nice Pukpukin mo na Hatch Hachiri, let's go. Hold mo yung ano ko, yung rad ko. Hold mo na. Wait, 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 wait. Ako 
Pô. Ang laki na ito, men. Ang laki na ito. Ang laki na ito, master. Ikaw nga, men. Sabi ko sa'yo, eh. Ang laki, eh. Talon, talon. Putik pun tak segilid. Pagut na aku, kulit. Pwede na! Uy! Nasa ano? Nasa gilid! Nasa gilid! Master! Nailan ko na! <laughs> oh! Woohoo! Lagay mo sa net, tapos kunin ko, lalaki yata Oh my God!